Ryan, how long have we been saying that uh, Facebook and the government, not, sorry, not just Facebook, all of social media is colluding with government? 100% of the episodes. Perfect. Here's Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg on Joe Rogan. How do you guys handle things when they're a, a big news item that's controversial? Like there was a lot of attention on Twitter during the election because of the Hunter Biden laptop story. The New yeah, York we Post. Had that too. Yeah, so you guys censored that as well? So we took a different path than Twitter. Um, I mean, basically, the background here is the FBI, I think, basically came to us, uh, some, some folks on our team. It was like, hey, um, just so you know, like, you should be on high alert. There was the, we, we thought that there was a lot of Russian propaganda in the 2016 election. We have it on notice that basically there's about to be some kind of dump of, of um, uh, uh, that's similar to that. So just be vigilant. So. Our protocol is different from Twitter's. What Twitter did is they said, you can't share this at all. Um, we didn't do that. What, what we do is we have, um, if something is reported to us as potentially um, misinformation, important misinformation, we, we also have this third-party fact-checking program because we don't want to be deciding what's true and false. And for the, I think it was five or seven days when it was basically being um, being determined whether it was false, um, the distribution on Facebook was decreased, but people were still allowed to share it. So you could still share it. You could still consume it. So when um, you say the distribution is decreased, in, it, it got shared. It, how does that work? It basically the ranking in newsfeed was a little bit less. So fewer people saw it than would have otherwise. So it definitely by what percentage? I, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's 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 meaningful. But I mean, but basically a. Um, a lot of people were still able to share it. We got a lot of complaints that that was the case. Um, you know, obviously this is a hyper political issue. So depending on what side of the political spectrum, you either think we didn't censor it enough or censored it way too much. But right. but we weren't sort of as black and white about it as as Twitter. We just kind of thought, hey, look, if if the FBI, which you know, I still view as a legitimate institution in this country, it's like very professional law enforcement. They come to us and tell us that we need to be on guard about something then I want to take that seriously. Did they specifically say you need to be on guard about that story? I, I No, I, I don't remember if it was that specifically, but it was. It basically fit the pattern. It basically fit the pattern, Ryan. And what's the pattern, David? <laughs> the pattern is one in six Joe Biden voters would not have voted for him if you knew about the Hunter Biden laptop story. We had the a much FBI, different approach. <laughs> We had, we had a different approach than Twitter. Twitter totally censored it. We only shadow banned it. Remember when shadow banning was a conspiracy, Ryan? Literally, I wrote, when, that, I wrote that on the sheet for the record. Remember when governments colluding with social media was a conspiracy, Ryan? Remember when social media companies censoring people wasn't a violation of your First Amendment because they're private companies? Is all of but that they, shattered now? That whole thing, it's, it's, this whole, it's all an illusion. It's shattered. Do you remember when they said in 2016 that it's the most secure election ever and that our elections are secure and we shouldn't have to worry about it? And then they said that $50,000 in Russian disinformation on Facebook swayed an entire election. And now here they are saying that basically they, 50K swayed the 2016 election, right? That's what that's what that's what they said that's, in, that's in what, Russian ads. In Russian okay. ads, that's what they came to conclusion. It's also funny he admitted that they give it to a third party, so it's not even Facebook. They have delegated. This is called plausible deniability in case a story does get censored. Facebook, the billion-dollar oligopoly, can't be sued for any violations of their own code and conduct and everything. So now we have contracted truth. We're contracting truth, David, to people with probably agendas. Mark Zuckerberg is going to sit up there. And act like it's a good idea to just hand over power and all this stuff. Part, part, part of me wants to, it's a very small part of me, but part of me wants to briefly put myself in Mark Zuckerberg's shoes. If the FB, if I'm a, if I run a, Meta is, it's got to be the largest social media company in the world. If the FBI comes up to me and says, How many other users are bots, David? The what? How many users are bots on Facebook? Can we even say that? I'm, oh, I don't know. There's three, and a, yeah. there's three to three and a half billion users on Facebook. How many of them are bots? I don't know. 
I don't know that answer. I don't know how many bots are on Twitter. Elon Musk is what? trying to find out. They don't want to. He tell doesn't him. know how much shit is shadow banned either. No, no, we don't know. How, it's it's, it's substantial. Yeah. Well, what's fucking substantial? A fifty yeah. percent throttle. They literally admitted that the algorithm that they said isn't even real. It's real, and they influence it on the stuff yeah. you see. They literally admitted that they stop things from going viral. And if it's a story that no one else has seen, it's going to seem like a god bless conspiracy. So the algorithm wouldn't share something that sounds crazy because, well, only this one person believe all women, though, when it comes to grape. But I can't believe all journalism on Snapchat. Got to throttle that freaking viral video clip. Now, now let's be clear. We've the the conspiracy of the the government doesn't uh, collude with social media is off the table. It's officially blown up. It, it doesn't exist anymore. We have. There's the guy who runs the biggest social media company saying the FBI came to him and said, you better censor this information. But the president didn't even know. You better you better censor this information. The president of the United States table. didn't know about it, but the raid. Pe- pe- people, you can't, you can't tell me the things we've been saying for years now. And how far does this go? It surely doesn't start and end with the hunter biden laptop story there's no way there's no way it starts and ends there it continues down the line conservatives have been saying for years that social media has been shadow banning their viewership that their stuff doesn't get the same reach and people say oh that's just because it's not as popular and then it came out that well they're a private they're they're a private company but we have now literally once again, Dave, this is another thing. My buddy actually said this to me this past week. He said he's they're a private company, which on paper they are. But we can't say that anymore after they've been so deliberately in swaying elections. Yes. Like YouTube included. Like these very platforms are considering like YouTube channels like Steven Crowder and this channel swaying elections and foreign elections. But them, them, they themselves participate in it by throttling information and this, the Hunter laptop story being Russian disinformation during the campaign. What does it, doesn't this sound like the same shit we heard the last time just on the other side? Like that and, Trump was saying that the Russian dossier is propaganda and Facebook pushed that. Facebook said, no, this is fact. There was no third party fact checkers Trump, then. Trump's taxes. Trump's taxes, they released that those. We don't even know. No, those were on Twitter even, but the New York sure. Post story wasn't. We pointed it out at the time. Many people picked it up, but we have political Stockholm syndrome and forget what happened to us. But and here we are, literally, the same shoe is on the other foot now. But I'm supposed to believe this shoe was fine. This shoe was happening. So why wouldn't this shoe happen? It was it was both happening. It came out the dossier was bullshit. And let's let's go. All the way, too, because what this ultimately means, if the government's colluding with social media to censor stories, then the government is censoring your speech. That is a blatant violation of the First Amendment. And you damn well know it goes the other way, David, that Facebook is working with the government to censor people's speech. I, w- I wouldn't doubt it. That's probably well, a conspiracy, though, Ryan. I'm sure that's Trump's off Twitter. Trump's off Twitter. Alex Jones off Twitter. Jack Podesta off Twitter. Andrew Tate off Twitter. Milo Yiannopoulos on Twitter. They have broken no rules. They have broken no laws. No legal binding laws. We all agree that social media is a modern day soapbox. It's a modern day public square. We yeah, all we agree. All agree. Us, us two us, all we agree. The, the, we, we the us people. two agree. He's trying to undermine the media. Trying to make up his own facts. Control exactly what people think. And that is our job. So damn many other people I grew up have cancer. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy.
Ryan, before we go further, this is episode 109 of the weekly show, All of the Week's Hottest Topics with a Twist. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, Facebook, YouTube, and Rumble if you can actually see it, but who actually knows if that's the case? Maybe they'll throttle in the algorithm and be like, look at this shitty YouTube channel. You guys don't even have a following. How can I get a following if you take them? No, we don't fucking participate in anything. We don't want to discuss anything too close to elections. We just let Facebook do it. We just let well, don't Facebook forget. handle it for us. The government doesn't even have to take me to court anymore to censor my fucking freedom of speech. And you know what's the best thing? When Facebook does censor my freedom of speech, I go to the government and say, hey, I have a First Amendment, and I have a right to speak, and I have a right to political opinion, and I have the right to redress my government of my grievances. And they go, eh, it's a private company, but they sway fucking elections, which is a public thing. That's fucking weird. That'd be, that'd be like me filling up Lake Erie every day and saying that it's a private reservoir that I just let the public use. <laughs> Ryan, and of course, uh, we have, I mean, I know the media didn't, and Social media didn't allow it for a long time, but we have covered covered the Hunter Biden laptop story frequently. Uh, we typically cover the more hilarious aspects of it, you know, the drugs and the hookers and stuff. But there's Thanks, more Franco. serious, uh, more serious angles to the Hunter Biden laptop story. And remember, uh, as you pointed out, this is a real story that they didn't cover, unlike the uh, Russian collusion. Here's Matt Gates uh, drilling My some from scumbag in government. Gates. Is Hunter Biden a national security threat? That's not a question that would come up before me, uh, Congressman. You're the head of the in, National Security Division, so it seems sort of on the nose. It's not in my practice or experience to identify individuals in and, and to We've label that any individual, an American citizen or any individual, as a national security threat. Well, you would certainly concede that if the adult offspring of the President of the United States or the Vice President were compromised, that would be a national security threat, right? Where's the in, laptop? In that position. Do you know where Hunter Biden's laptop is? I, again, I'm not going to talk about any potential well, ongoing investigation know where it is? as I sit here. Do you here. know where it is? The whistleblowers from the FBI have gone to, to Senator Grassley and said that you guys purposefully take any information that is, that is derogatory about Hunter Biden and you go and rat hole it so that you never have to speak about it in any circumstance. So Patrick Ho was convicted of bribing government officials in Africa and he gave a million bucks to Hunter Biden. Are you familiar with that? Inside Hunter Biden's multi-million dollar deals with a Chinese energy company, Washington Post, Matt Vizier. Chinese elite paid $31 million to Hunter and the Bidens, Peter Schweitzer in the New York Post. Hunter Biden's business partner called Joe Biden the big guy in panic messages. Do you guys call Joe Biden the big guy at the Department of Justice? Like you got no problem going out and tagging parents at school board meetings as a national security threat. But when all of the facts and all of the law are before you regarding the corruption of Hunter Biden, you don't want to speak to that at all. Ten days after Vice President Biden takes Hunter Biden to China, ten days after this long toiling venture of Hunter Biden that can't get off the ground, ten days after they go, he automatically gets approved. So uh, for a deal in China with Bohai Harvest, like have you guys looked into that? And Tony Bobolinsky. Tony Bobolinsky told the world that Joe Biden was cut in on a CCP energy deal that was orchestrated by Hunter Biden. Is there an ongoing investigation of the annual fund dinner that happened where Joe Biden was vice president of the United States and Hunter Biden holds his funds annual dinner at the Chinese embassy? And the uh, but in order to do that, in order to get the Chinese embassy to roll out the red carpet for Hunter Biden and, and to raise money for his fund, he had to go to the embassy 30 minutes before and have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the Chinese ambassador. Do you think it's possible that that meeting might have jeopardized national security? It's pretty easy to see that Hunter Biden is compromised. I think every American knows that's a threat to national security. I think we're watching a crime spree in progress that Hunter Biden is orchestrating. And one has to wonder, like, what are the Chinese getting for the tens of millions of dollars that they're cutting the Biden family in on? What is the Chinese Communist Party getting as a result of cutting in 10% for the big guy? And it just, I just happened to notice that, like, you guys canceled the China initiative that President Trump put in place where you focus talent on those things. Hmm. That's weird. That's all Russian collusion, disinformation, right? Did you hear the Orwellian speak in there that he said adult offspring of the president? He's got to be son, very. He's got to be son, very specific. The fucking son. We all. He's that guy's a Republican, right? 
fucking the one standing for freedom. Just to be, because we passed it by law, we have to call him this. Uh, we get, <laughs> and to be clear, uh, people, um, remember there is an investigation going on to Matt Gates. Does anyone here understand why yet? Has anyone figured it out? Because there's a very clear reason they're investigating Matt Gates. It's the oh, same reason they're investigating Trump. He's People want to tear down this. I got something else to say. He did a good point about asking all these questions about with the Chinese. The Bidens are not this smart. A crackhead is not smart enough to gain to game the Chinese against the fucking United States government. Do people not realize this? This guy, he might be right, but he's painting Hunter Biden like a fucking crime lord. That's not the case. That guy can't even get laptops dropped off places correctly without fucking that up. <laughs> How's that guy sitting down with Chinese nationals and leveraging all this stuff? You know, all this money, you know what it is? It's people literally just have to get rid of it because they're so rich. That's what I think some of this is. Here's th I literally like... What is it? China can just print money like we can. Like, what's the difference? They build cities for no reason, just to keep people busy. It sounds like the country that has all of the money in the world to just give some guy to smoke crack and sleep with strippers and get his ex-brother's wife. That guy is not smart. Get it right. Get it right. That We're going to get fact-checked. It's his dead brother's wife third party i'm glad youtube with all their money and can fucking employ somebody eternally her, to fucking fact check because you right. have to admit by default mark zuckerberg that you have a political ideology and you don't care about facts you would have to admit that if we don't have a third party source you'd have to admit that the things we sense are based along our ideology lines it's that you could just pay this company to think a fucking certain way but i'm supposed to believe it's objective just because you don't you you remember cnn um, the Bidens aren't that smart to gain the Chinese government off the whole United States. They're, there's no, there's no way. Do you, do you remember we played that clip about CNN and everyone was really surprised that Joe Biden's ratings were in the tank? And um, you know they the were talking they were talking about the Hunter Biden laptop story and they're like, well, you know Hunter Biden isn't Joe Biden. He's not in office. It doesn't matter. And then and we all said like obviously they're tied together. And people said no 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 Joe Biden never met with any of these people. Uh, here's another Behind guy an grilling the same idiot. During the Obama-Biden administration between Hunter Biden and Miguel Alemán. Glad the they highlighted it to make it real fucking the former easy Mexican for president. us. The first lines say, we are arriving late tonight on Air Force Two to Mexico City. We'll be there for Thursday. I'm attending meeting with President In, meaning President Nieto, uh, with Dad. Highlighted is are the comments. We've been talking about business deals and part partnerships for seven years. I've brought every single person you've ever asked me to bring to the effing White House and the Vice President's House and the inauguration. I've delivered on every single thing you've ever asked. I'm not familiar with the. the I want to punch this guy right to. in the What mouth. I can tell you is that. Uh, not that I'm calling for violence. Fundamental principle. No, uh, figuratively. I want to figuratively punch this guy in the mouth. Almost 20 year no, career FBI that we follow the facts and the law. I want to figuratively punch this guy in the literal mouth. Ideology. You're not familiar with this, uh, this email here. I'm, I'm we not. have next up, we're going to show you a picture of Vice President Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, Miguel <laughs> Alemán, his father, and Carlos Slim, one of the richest men in the world, in 2015, while Joe Biden was Vice President. This picture seems to conflict with President Biden's statement that he has never met with his son's business associates. <laughs> Much of the information regarding Hunter Biden's foreign business dealings has come from the laptop that was abandoned by Hunter Biden and labeled by the media's misinformation, as well as by 51 former intelligence officers. As well as uh, the FBI when they took it to letter Facebook dated and said, don't display this information. Submit for the record. This they, week we learned they, FBI they whistleblowers they just come forward the and record the FBI. Yeah, we didn't ban it. We just shadow banned it so people couldn't see it. Well, what percentage of people? I don't know. It was a meaningful percentage. Oh, fuck. Uh, no, I'm not. Christ. <laughs> okay. Dude, talk about gaslighting. <laughs> we throttled the story. How much? Meh. Eh, I don't know. A lot. Enough. What's meaningful? Enough to stop it from going viral? That's meaningful. fucking sounds great. Like meaning, how meaningful? Like a meaningful enough that Joe Biden got elected? The most elected president of all time with half of his fucking fake Twitter followers? Dude, in the day and age when everybody's hoping that their content gets viral, gets a million views on something, eh, we throttled it. Do you remember throttled when they were talking? little. Do you remember when the IRS was targeted tea parties and they're like, no, we're not. And then they're like, 
dude, you didn't. Ninety nine percent of the people you fucking issued whatever four O C three P's or whatever it was that were Tea Party conservative groups. That sounds awfully familiar. Yeah, that I'm was sure. the last president when Biden was the fucking vice president. Oh, no, the and I'm sure vice president guy with a crackhead son that likes strippers and Chinese people. It's got to be unrelated to the new IRS agents that they're hiring and arming. Dude, I'm sure that's all that unrelated, mom? Ryan. They're not coming for you. That dude was it. I seen a picture of a guy in a wheelchair. I swear to God, IRS, this this is not violence. This is a statement. If you come to my house with a disabled guy in a fucking wheelchair about taxes, I'm throwing that guy. You're going to send a girl to sub, come arrest me for unpaid taxes? Yeah, we're no, not calling for made, violence. We're calling for self-defense for the record. I'm sorry that I made so much money off the books to hedge against inflation. Let's just, why even pay tax if you just give this shit away? You know what Eve said earlier, which is really weird? I'm going to I'm gonna open with this as a fully, full-on conspiracy. Uh, but she said, you know... Her phone every once in a while will just start listening to her conversation. She's like, you know, it never used to do that until you guys started doing this show. Oh, that's weird. Do you remember that guy that was on Patrick Beck David about the laptop story? They're like, yeah, you know. People John are... Paul Mac Isaac, I think. Yeah, people don't. Not, not to be confused with John Paul Jones, the bassist for Led Zeppelin. Uh Ryan, oh, all this of... is weird. Just Dave's girlfriend. I'm sure it's a coincidence considering all the terms of use that we all clicked agree to. They listen to my microphone all the time. You know what's crazy? This congressman can show the fucking president's son with Chinese nationals with fucking emails with actual proof. And we Yo, hold on, hold on. on. I gotta stop internet. you. I gotta stop you before it's disinformation. Those were Mexican nationals. Well, I don't care. David. His wife Some... was. He was, as his wife would call them, tacos. Mexican uh, breakfast tacos. Remember These when? People, remember when they, Trump they, shared the photo with a taco on Cinco de Mayo, and everyone called him a racist? And then, meanwhile, the uh, alleged president's wife was on <laughs> called all Mexican people tacos, and it was like fine. Dude, these people, they show you the photographs. The Republicans, this guy in Congress, could show me the photographs, and then when I go online and see, they share this, be like. We're going to throttle this information. This is unvetted. This is unverified because somebody hasn't given the stamp of approval at a third-party organization about a public affair. How is anybody going to have faith in public institutions if third-party organizations can override that faith? Well, Ryan, here, let me ask you this. Because it's a conspiracy that the FBI is colluding with social media. Facebook, Dude, and then they label you a terrorist for even asking these fucking questions. They did... They openly tell you, we're going to label you as a domestic terrorist if you question the government. When so, I can't so, even share a story that's literally just once the one thing swayed a whole election. Literally, statistically. We talked about this last week and many times before. But all of those stories were able to run. But Dave and I interfere in New Zealand and it gets pulled. It's still not up. 101 is still not on YouTube. That was the uh, Peterson episode, if I remember correctly. It's, it's not even on YouTube still. Still. It's on Rumble, though. Go like on Rumble. Rumble is the free speech alternative to YouTube and Facebook and I'm sure and TikTok I'm, and whatever else. I wonder how Crowder's doing, considering they're strangling them financially, for God forbid, having somebody on to ask fucking questions. Are we hiring, are we electing domestic terrorists now in the House of Representatives or people running for mayors and gubernatorial races? Are, are you going to start labeling these people domestic terrorists so they can't run? But the FBI is a good organization in the Department of Defense or Department of Justice. There's so many goddamn departments. They got all this power and we can't even figure it all out. But I'm supposed to believe in the competency of all these people. And when they are not competent enough, I'm supposed to relinquish more of my government authority and say, here, spy on me more. Here, get more police cars that have sound deafening fucking speakers on top that shatter people's eardrums. They were used in Iraq because that's what Lancaster needs. Because we have riots here all the time. They have uh, all the MRAP tanks, people. YouTube. To, to bring this full circle. FBI included with social media, which we've been saying for a while, but they've been saying as a conspiracy. Facebook says Mark Zuckerberg. Dude, Mark Zuckerberg. Well, fuck social media. They consorted with Mark Zuckerberg. One person. 
not social media, not a conglomerate of people. Well, and he said his people. To, he said his people. Yeah, Regardless. I, yeah, and he and he heard about it. So Regardless. seven people. The point sorry, is Zuckerberg. Hairs. Zuckerberg says, "Well, we relay to a third party, so it wasn't really us identifying who the misinformation is. If it's if it was a conspiracy, and it's been happening the whole time, that the FBI colludes with social media, is it possible, Ryan? Is it possible that the FBI maybe is colluding with these third parties? Also, who's to say they're not doing the fact checking, the opinion checking? Was it Zuckerberg that was in Congress saying there were opinions?" Dude, I'm sure it's way easier to hide the truth in a third-party fact-checking organization considering social media giants ran by Mark Cuckleberg are so easily public that they're going to be like, oh, look at what Facebook's doing with billions and trillions of dollars. Instead, how do I know that Mark Zuckerberg and all of his buddies don't own stocks in these third-party organizations and backfund them through fucking charities and LLCs and trusts? Because that's possible. That's how Disney owns 75% of media. It's just called seven different organizations. How do I know Facebook isn't doing that with fact checking? And then they're going to say that it's just opinion in court already. Oh, we're consorting with third party organizations that I privately fund. This is like Nancy Pelosi taking money out of computer chip factories right before one fucking blows up. <laughs> uh, all this. All of that, Ryan, to say this. The FBI raided Trump. We've talked about it. Uh, Trump said, release the affidavit. And they said, oh, yeah, we'll do it. But we'll have to just, you know, redact it a little. Um, yeah, that's, well, that's some of what it looks like. As you can see, there's no fucking words on it. To the one whole black paragraph. I read the whole 38-page affidavit in... I don't know, three minutes? There's like 10 sentences combined. I understand that they wanted to keep the main guy. They wanted to keep him protected. They didn't want to dox him. That's fine. Black his name out. Why is everything else blacked out? The affidavit that you could actually read basically said that this guy, unknown source, uh, People person familiar, familiar with, the with the matter, I'm sure, yes. Uh, he basically said that he heard from another government agency. So the, the main source is an FBI agent. We don't know who it is, obviously. So one, one bureaucracy heard from another bureaucracy that there could have been some classified documents inside. And the judge the said, good enough for me, signed off on it. They raided. The warrant stated that they were going to search his entire house for 15 boxes of documents which I'm sure his passport wasn't a part of. That wasn't a warrant. Warrants specifically say we are looking for five ounces of cocaine. We're looking, Hunter Biden's case, 10 pounds of cocaine. They have <laughs> specifics. This said they're going to raid this monstrous mansion for information. But it wasn't a raid. And don't worry, because it was, it was all done the legal way through the justice system because one guy heard what another guy said. And there was no leaks, David. They leak everything else, though. Everything no else leaks. gets leaked. The so leak the fucking president didn't even know. So tight-lipped. Yeah, it yeah the president painful. know. Also... Right by the book. But these are the same police officers that murder black people, right, that don't can't do their job. We got to give them less money. But now yeah. they're the greatest people ever and are tight-lipped about these fucking super dark... SEAL Team 6 operations on foreign soils, raiding former president's houses, when the guy that could have spilled the... It, Where's all the Breonna Taylor people at? Dude, is Dave, too, we... Is Trump, I'm sorry, is Trump too white for this? Does it not count? Dude, you breezed right over this, like the whole... Uh, not, not that you breezed over it, but you were getting there, and I did, but... What you were describing about how warrants have very specialized things, this is like literally one of the amendments... So your Fourth Amendment, your Fifth Amendment. Well, we know so they don't care about amendments, Ryan. They're actively it doesn't creating matter. laws that violate the Second Amendment. The FBI is coercing with Facebook to silence your speech. That's the First Amendment. They're violating the Fourth Amendment. If you say the Fifth Amendment, that you plead the Fifth, that makes you guilty. That's a violation of the Fifth Amendment. The Ninth and Tenth Amendment they violate all the time because they don't really care about separation of powers or federalism. They just know that the government should be able to do all the things. 
We're signing executive orders to just give a bunch of money to people. Oh, you took out loans that the interest rate's too high on. You did it mutually. You knew how high the interest rate was, but somebody else better pay for it. That's a violation of amendments. What amendments does that violate, Ryan? The ninth and the 10th, yeah. at least. At least. Power of the purse, it just circumcedes fucking the Congress. Power of the purse, right? That was the thing with Obamacare. You don't even got to pass a law. All you got to do is defund Planned Parenthood. All you have to do is defund these things, but we can't get them behind it. You can only use me. We've talked about this. You know, every this has been known. The left and right wing of politics are from the same bird, right? That's the common saying. We actually see it. We're, see, we're literally seeing the fall of Rome. Joe Biden's been taking heavily to social media to talk about, you know, I want to bring all these people together, people on the left and the center, and even the moderate Republicans, but not the MAGA people. Not the MAGA people. I wouldn't technically define myself as a MAGA person, Ryan, but I I'm would. damn sure I, not I, in I, the I, other three fucking categories described by Joe Biden. No, Dave, we're MAGA people. I am the MAGA, MAGA king. You had it. I speak for all of, uh, 90 million Trump supporters because I know there's 9 million votes not counted, YouTube. Um, Trump should have won. I was not called. I was not reached out to. I was not funded on social media or TikTok as an influencer through the previous from this administration to spread the good word of, you know, World Economic Forum Agenda 21 talking points. Dude, at what point? Anyways, do we Ryan, just, how was your day? At, at what point do we just stop <laughs> fucking complying? But it seems like the at the direction we're headed, the point we're going to stop is when it's too late. Dude, they want probably a, sometime right after we're all disarmed. Is my guess? Dude, they want a civil war. They want actual. I believe this. Okay, I believe this. I do. All these people are so insulated. They're so disconnected. All of them. Rogan, Zuckerberg, all of them. Elon, all of them. Guys worried about Mars. Motherfucker, I'm not going to have milk. <laughs> <laughs> you will have free high-speed internet, though, Bro, uh, courtesy of Starlink. I'm glad that Mars and Earth are going to have something in common. We both don't have milk. Way to go, Elon. Where's the fucking chip that I need so I'm not hungry ever again? Electro well, uh, electroshock therapy to keep me fucking skinny and just malnourished the enough to slave away on a fucking foreign asteroid so that we don't have population collapse while you can fuck supermodels and spread your seed, you dork. <laughs> fuck these people. They want it. They want it. Zuckerberg's buying up all the oceanfront property right now for nickels on the dollar. I'm sure he's allowed all those climate change things to float right to the surface to raise those interest rates so people can't afford their house. Oh, I'll buy your bankrupt whole estate. I'll buy up all your shit pennies on a dollar. This was called Robin Baron. But now that we change definitions, we'll just be known as Zuckerbergen. Is this guy is just going to come like a fucking tidal wave and take everything? And I'm just supposed to wait. I'm just supposed to wait. I'm supposed to sit here, pay $80 for fucking to fill up a gas tank to drive to the same job that don't pay me any more money. I'm told it's the richest fault, though. But I'm watching the rich get richer. Be like, man, why is everybody's rent going to the same person? If those Black rich Rock. people, if those people <laughs> only pay more money to the government. And then we find out the people that pay all the money to the government. Facebook, one of the largest organizations on earth. Facebook, they pay all their money to the government. Then they, the government goes, hey, you got to do this. And they're like, all right, look, we're not going to censor it. We're just going to throttle it. Yeah, we're not. People still were allowed to share it. I didn't shoot my wife. I just beat her to a bloody pulp. These people want civil war. They want to bankrupt you and make you so desperate. You're more pissed off at your neighbor for having bread than you are for them for having the bread factory. Tell me I'm wrong. These people can openly sway and fuck with our elections, my elections, Dave's elections, everybody's elections, everywhere we live is all influenced by Mark Zuckerberg. He can throttle something at the local level if he wants. 
And if you don't think he's doing that, but he does it at the national level, you're mistaken. If it's just the Mar-a-Lago raid or the Hunter Biden laptop story, you're mistaken. It goes all the way to Carl Palladino. It goes all the way to your little local mayor. I got nothing to hide. Your mayor does. We'll just throttle the information even if it gets out there. This guy murdered seven people. Eh, it's a conspiracy. It's running for mayor, though. Eh, it's definitely a conspiracy now. How many times? How many times? I'm not expecting to be fucking thrown on the star like David. I know you're not either. But we're literally the next people to go after Crowder. And we're nobody. We're just... I just thought of this today. I could hear drink beer and bullshit with Dave. We're just the common man's politics. And we're on the radar. By Mark Zuckerberg. That's a conspiracy. Fuck that guy, man. Seriously. Like, what? I don't. I love doing the show. I love everybody that watches. I, they want a civil war. They want it. It's just going to be easier for them to deal with. Reconstruction. Imagine Reconstruction 2.0 with fucking smartphones. They can measure every pebble of rock and let this guy have all the rocks and that guy have none of the rocks. That guy gets all the water. That guy gets none of the water. Up, oh, you're banned for 15 days from public water consumption because your Facebook post violates community standard guidelines. If you don't think that is going to happen, but he's just giving away our political... Our political power to, of, of educating the voter during an election, during a once-in-a-lifetime pandemic on top of it, when the only way to get media is on a fucking phone, we couldn't go to the store and buy a newspaper. The newspapers weren't printing shit. Newspapers are dead to begin with. That means there's no local media to report on local issues. Once again, Mark Zuckerberg, if you don't think he's in local politics, you're mistaken. And he runs, and they run both Instagram too. All the pictures. Pictures worth a million words, right, David? Yeah, what's what's uh, what's falls under Facebook? Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Well, it's Meta, Chat is, right? Is Snapchat part of Meta? I don't know, but Meta is Facebook, Instagram, definitely. Instagram is the largest dating app in the world to even get into that. That's not, it, it, Instagram is a dating app. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, it's like a, it's a it's dating like, app. It's like softcore OnlyFans. Yes, that's why it's a dating app. <laughs> if you go on Tinder, the girls get you on Instagram. They siphon you off. To, it's this whole different story. They know what they're doing. They like. If you guys, if you don't think that guy has boards of people for everything else, if they're doing fact checking, they know how addictive and how depressive that they know. I remember hearing studies about how Facebook can sway people and get them upset if they're already upset. This was before they had all those sliding emoji cons that you could describe how you're feeling. I wonder why they care about how I feel about certain posts, David, if I'm happy, upset, if I love it, if I'm sending care. Oh, they talked about that in the in the episode with Joe Rogan. Oh, oh how lovely. Uh, I'm sure had- it was for loving arms. I'm sure it's because Zuckerberg just loves connecting people, even though girls are killing themselves at record numbers. If I remember correctly, Zuckerberg's answer to he was talking about the angry reaction because Instagram's a very positive place, unlike Twitter. And uh, Mark Zuckerberg likes that, so he wants Facebook to be that It's real easy. Way. It's so, real easy to be positive when my pricks hard all day. So he, so he asked him about uh, the angry reaction and if that down ticks. And he's like, "Well, it just it just doesn't count towards it." And then he thought about it. He's like, "Well, it might it might go against it. I don't I don't know." What do you mean you this don't guy know? has that guy has who knows one... <laughs> if you don't know who knows that guy's supposed to have a 160 IQ or something that guy's I, supposed I, to be educated and I don't doubt he is I'm sure he's he's if you if you no. listen to the whole episode he sounds ultra intelligent I'm sure he's very intelligent he's so That's smart he doesn't know here. if it throttles information Dave? oh he Come fucking on. knows he knows it does <laughs> these people know exactly what they're that, doing that's the whole point for this phrase Oh, because they're psychopaths. I just seen a video of that crazy, creepy prick. Do you know he has a fucking? There's a video. Pull this up. Uh, maybe he had a coat. Are you, on. Are you giving me the Rogan right now, Jamie? Yes. Yeah. 
pull, he had a coat on and he was sweating on stage and they're like, dude, take your coat off. And on the inside, he had like a cult like symbol on the inside of a sports no. coat. Zuckerberg cult coat would probably do it. Cult coat? It's like a b blue, I think. Cult coat. Video I'll find. Mark Zuckerberg's secret cult jacket. TRH28 YouTube. Who the fuck is TRH? 20, it's like a talk. Symbol. No, it's like a talk. He's like on a stage with people. They make him take it off. He's like porn sweat and stuff. I don't know. I just seen uh, this like two weeks ago. Okay, it's let's uh, share window. Share this. All right, what what are we gonna get here, Ryan? I don't know who this is for the record. It should be him in a chair. Should you feel like yeah. TRH is the privacy? rabbit hole? Do you, you feel like you're adequately portrayed as a? Because I want to wonder about the person who he actually created sweaty. this thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, wait, can I? Watch this I over you here? know, a lot of stuff happened happened along the way. I think, um, you know, there were real learning points and turning points along the way in terms of, um, in terms of building things. You know, it really went from this position very early on where we were just in this college dorm room to we moved out to California. It was a few friends and me. And, um, you know, it, it just kind of had this project feel for a while. And there was this real turning point when, um, when companies started trying to buy the company for a huge amount of money. And, you know, I had to kind of get my friends together and we had to decide Is this what it? was it that we really cared about and what was it that yeah. we wanted to do. Um, and you know, yeah. we decided not you might to, be able to skip through offers, it, but and, it's there. You know, to me, it's just a lot of that it. decision. Hurry up and take off your coat, sweet cheeks. What we wanted to do and what we wanted to spend, you know, a big part of our lives doing, was just continuing to push and um, and and kind of build oh, products that help people. Uh, I thought that was a bad thing. It's, 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 it's probably towards the end more, but it, no, I never yeah. take off the. Hood. I know you don't. What's with that? There's a group of women in the audience that wish you would. No, there isn't. Girls. He's literally wiping the sweat off. All right. Sorry. How hot okay. was it in there? Um, it's probably a lot hotter after they call them out for personalization it. thing was that you did and why you did it and what was yeah, the, what's the value this is of it to your users? Level. Maybe I should take off the hoodie. Take oh. off the hoodie. Go ahead. You want to? Are you hot? Go ahead. Here. 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 Let me take off your clothes you right? for you. Yeah. This is a great moment in internet history. What? Apparently she was right. Right. Oh, she was right, all right. Just um, what are we going to do with the mic? Put it on your... Right. Put it on the uh, Come on, 160 IQ, put the Watch. fucker on your you t-shirt. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mark? Sorry about the... Sorry about the cult symbol on my jacket. Where? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're not going to yell at him. No, we're not. Of course not. Oh, oh what do you got there? Hoodie? Yeah, what no, it's you, a thick you hoodie. We, it's, um, it's a company hoodie. We print our mission on the inside. What? Oh, oh really? my god, the inside of the hoodie, everybody. It's the Georgia Stones. Oh. Surprise. What is it? Making the... Making the world more open and connected. Oh my oh, god, yeah. it's like a secret cool. cult. That's oh, yeah. That's like Look at that. Ah, Making ah, the world ah, open and connected. Ah, stream graph platform and this weird symbol in the middle that is probably for the Illuminati. <laughs> oh, 2010. No, it's 2010. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I guess that's why I never takes the coat off. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there we go. Didn't realize it played sound after. Fuck that guy. Just, just think about that next time you post on the internet. That that guy's getting calls from the FBI saying what he can and can't do. It's just his mission statement, Ryan. But you know what? Uh, you know what? It's fine. Everybody tomorrow, just click on your Facebook, go back to sleep. I actually texted this to Dave. I am very happy that I woke up early before the TikTok stream and Generation Z because I was able to develop he healthier habits now and be able to sort through the garbage, like literally see the double speak. It's kind of incredible. We hope we can bring you the double speak. Ryan, speaking of TikTok, we um 
I don't know. I'm just saying out loud, thinking out loud. But with with Andrew Tate gone, I think there's a strong opening on TikTok for somebody with your type of misogyny. Dude, they ban girls on TikTok for telling women what the fuck is up. Females. Even females can't, like, stand up for guys anymore. I mean, this is this is, like masculinity is a pillar of the downfall of the Civil War, because it's only strong men that will allow the shit not to happen. What the future Civil War? You mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, it's okay. just a bunch of weak soy boys, like it's going to be easy to get us to fight against each other. They're gonna be fighting over. Yeah, but it would, points. but it also wouldn't benefit them on their side because they know that's who they're going to have. Maybe that's the point of the. The, uh, I don't think you're supposed to say this word, but maybe that's the point of the trannies. So they can get some strong masculine men on their side. Well, yeah, they got already like, you know, 27% of Gen Z all jacked up on hormones, cutting their tits off, you know, screw a couple dicks on their strap-ons and they're ready for war, David. They'll come and take soy boys out from in front of that computer quick, man. They will peg you on the spot, Ryan. <laughs> you look like you uh, like to get pegged. Imagine if I... Imagine if I went up to a girl and was like, you know, it looks like you like, you know, double penetration. It doesn't um, work. I've tried. They don't respond I... to that line very well. That in my experience. Me that... In my experience. There are some that do. Don't get me wrong. But just just know it's a high fail rate. You're about, you're looking at about a 1% success rate. So out of every 100, you might get one. Uh, so I'll be going for the elite then, David? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> elite at something. I was always told it's better to be really good at one thing. And some people are just really good at taking two dicks. I heard something about girls only taking in the butt so they save the vagina for their husband. And they can say they're virgins. My kind of girl. Dude. We're, we're trying to lighten things up for the record. I don't know if you were here for the whole episode. But we All just right. did 45 minutes on the FBI silencing and we did 45 minutes on the government violating the First Amendment. And stealing like, an election. Is that better? And with stealing the whole, an election. With the help of social media. And Mark Zuckerberg. Stealing an One election, guy. YouTube, before you say anything, stealing an election factually based on numbers, based on a poll that said one in six Biden voters wouldn't have voted for Biden if they knew about Hunter Biden's laptop. But the FBI came in and told Facebook and presumably Twitter that you can't have the speech because it's Russian, Russian disinformation. And Twitter censored it outright. And Zuckerberg said, oh, we took a different approach. We just shadow banned it so nobody saw it. It's a quick question, David. Who do you think they called first, Twitter or, F or Zuck? Fucking both of them at the same time. Double penetration. I wonder, David. I wonder. Who, who got the first phone call? But they'll release the Trump transcripts, right? There's I'd plenty like of people in the FBI. I'm sure they all just reached out. He had enough I people love, to make phone calls. I would love to see those transcripts leaked. Hey, meanwhile, Zuck. Meanwhile, Biden's uh, colluding with Russian, or with Russian, with uh, TikTokers, so they can give them good White House information to spread all over TikTok. Because as you know, Ryan, that's where most people get their information from. Yeah, and the White House would never lie to us, even though the is last one collusion? lied to us all the time. Definitely collusion. It's soft collusion, especially when you consider that TikTok is... Isn't it weird that the former president tried banning the even start of TikTok? It's almost like he knew this was in the pipeline. Hmm. Hmm. Probably because, you know, it was Chinese run. And, you know, I guess that makes sense. Dude, there's no way the Bidens are that smart. I'm fucking telling you. Like, if it's not proof that, like, there's... People pulling the Biden strings. I don't. The Bidens are the fall people. The people that you see fall, and you will blame for the civil war coming. If it's Biden, you'll blame. But it's the people above Biden, as Vladimir Putin put it. It's the people in the dark rooms. They come and tell you in black suits, and they tell you what you are going to do. He said that. I'm sure that was Russian dis disinformation. Yeah, I'm sure. The guy that's fucking worth trillions of dollars, David, just lying. He's just making stuff up, but Mark Zuckerberg is always truth. Uh, for the record, the people in the black suits, it's Hillary Clinton and Kamala Harris. Uh, I think they're fall people too, man. No way Although, that... And we all know Kamala loves a blue suit, but when it's time to do business, black suit's on for sure. Dude, dude there's... <laughs> 
there's no way a James Bond villain is like sitting there saying they fucking identify as something. That guy doesn't give a fuck what he identifies as because he's a straight gangster. He's like an international gangster. Brian, guy. you know who wears black suits? The men in black. To take this conspiracy one bit farther. The men in black. The FBI. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Dear YouTube, go fuck yourself. These are opinions. In case you can't see the banner. They didn't see it because they didn't even watch the video. They just banned it. It's not on the <laughs> internet. I wonder why. What are you going to do? Opinion check our opinions, YouTube? You know what's funny is I, I've talked about this, how on my Facebook live videos, I used to get a lot more traction. It was just me. Live streaming. I was like one of the few people to do it, let alone political commentary. It was like I would get 500 views on videos, and then it just disappeared after Trump. Was it after and Trump then, or after we started doing videos? Well, <laughs> it's odd how those things are correlated. All right. I guess I'll try to wind down here. Yeah, let's do some, uh, no pressure, Ryan, but you got to take us from the government is actively uh, stealing elections and violating your First Amendment, and you have to take it all the way down to we feel good about ourselves that we just watched this show for an hour. All right. So, speaking of the algorithm, let's get big. My, de my December tape of this week is YouTube. Okay, Paul, fru Francais. We. So you know, I thought about this this week. You know, I try to like uh, once again. I'm glad I develop healthy social media habits. I've come on this podcast and told you guys that I've gone like a month, a couple months at a time without a smartphone or being on the internet and stuff. And it's, it's not a it's just a thing most people don't do. So I look, I pre, I look at it different, probably than especially Gen Zers. But I clicked on YouTube the other day, and I was like, "Algorithm, take me away, like a fucking roller coaster," you know. And I like after I thought that, I thought after that that this is just crazy that I could just get on this information imaginary roller coaster, and it could just take me down the craziest paths. Because it just self-feeds you information that you've already self-fed yourself. A.K.A. the algorithm. Doesn't exist. So, remember that Google AI tech that said it's already autonomous? Oh, it's the, it becoming sentient. <sighs> Sounds fucking sentient-ish. Sentient light. It's like Don't let that get out. Fire that guy! Yeah, I wonder if the machine's still operating. Anyways, so I went down the YouTube rabbit hole. So don't ask me why I care. You know who Bobby Lee is, the comedian? Yeah. Okay. He has a super hot girlfriend. Okay. Her name's Kalila. I don't know, something else. She's like a hot Asian. They run like a podcast together. And apparently, I got caught up in some Joe Rogan drama slightly. These are all his, like, light friends, right? Because you know Brennan Schaub, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, Brennan Schaub's like too, the, right? Yeah, UFC fighter. He released a special. It's oh, he's a UFC terrible. fighter. Yeah. I'm thinking, was. never mind, yeah. He's on the fighter and the kid. He's on the king and the sting with Theo Vaughn and stuff. He is a comedian. He's just not, he's like the shittiest comedian on the internet, but he still does all right. The point is, is there's a bunch of drama between Brennan Schaub and, Kalila, Bobby Lee, and Brian Callen, and all these people. There's threats of people's careers. There's offering blowjobs by people's cars by the dumpster. And dude, I went Is down a Kalila? rabbit hole. I went down a rabbit hole following this internet drama. Like I was a fucking Kardashian spawn. And I'm like, oh my God, I have to know more. I have to know more. What is I going have to on? know more too. Who's doing the. By the car in the parking lot. Was it Kalila? Yeah. Brennan Shop apparently out? tried tried getting uh, Esther, I think, is the girl's name. She's, I know I'm explaining this terribly, but there's so many loose strings of comedians. Right? This is how Rogan's evolved because he's in the middle. He's the most popular. Right? Him, Burt Kreischer, uh, Burt Kreischer, Tom Segura. Right? He's got, like, the new wave of comedy. Right? Like, that ball of comedy. Dave Chappelle. They're all right there. And Shab is super close to... Rogan and Theo Vaughn, like it's just like Whitney Cummings, right? Like all the modern Joey Diaz, all the modern 
comedy circuit that you see. Bill Burr, it's all tied to Rogan. But Brendan Schaub's the piece. And he tried to get like a BJ from either that Kalila girl or this other girl, Esther. I've seen a couple of her things. The point, I'm getting to. I know this is all over the place. But this is what made the algorithm so great. Because I found one video of this, and it fed me another video, and another video. And another, before I knew it, I was lost in, like, Kardashian-level drama. And I realized the only reason that I even cared is because that Kalila girl was hot. <laughs> That's the only reason. Bobby Lee's hideous. We, we, need, hit. we need reference for this. Yeah, type in Bobby Lee, type in Tiger Belly Cast, and you'll see Bobby Lee, who's hideous, next to this gorgeous girl. I was like, this is the only reason I care. Let's see this. Let's see. But in, the moral of the story is this Kalila girl is actually a manipulative, succubus bitch. And she's the one apparently posting all this shit on the internet, starting drama in all of the comedy circles that are currently going on in the internet. Yeah, that's... look at her. Yeah. They just broke up recently, but she wanted like an open relationship. Look at that. Yeah, I bet she did. Look, look. Yeah, that's the only reason I cared. I'm like, how is this? I can't get a girl at a bar, but this guy can get this girl. What is the fuck? What is? That's all the reason I care. She was hot. That's all the reason I care. But she's manipulative. She's a succubus. She's on the internet spreading drama and bullshit. It was hilarious. I got sucked into the algorithm. I'm like you don't mind do you if we do? keep her up, do you? No, no. She's beautiful wallpaper, man. I'm a big fan of hers. Just like I only want to do one thing with her. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad you people did one thing with me and Dave, December 17, 73, Mondays at 7. YouTube, Facebook, Rumble, if this is still up there, Mark Zuckerberg, you go fuck yourself. I'll see you guys at the premiere. Thank you always, David. Appreciate you for your time. I'll see you guys then. See you, Thanks, everybody.